been hard to come out onto the sea uh, and do some paddling in different conditions. You know, we used to train, used to train on a, a lake in Leek. Uh, so having the chance to come out and do, do it on the sea is what it's all about. Really, it's what the boats are designed for. I've done canoeing before when I was younger and you know you do when you're at school but uh, I didn't think I'd represent uh, my country in a world sprint or any world event and come away with a medal. Shoulder strength and pushing the pushing the wheelchair. Uh, it's obviously different because you need your stomach and your lower back to paddle. So I've adapted my stroke and uh, and we've uh, bought a seat and adapted that to the boat and it works. It works brilliant. Uh, the seat came from a company in the UK. It's called the Aquabac. It cost us about 350 pounds uh, and Staffordshire University donated the money to, to be able to buy that seat. So we're hoping to get some more so we can get some more paraplegic or wheelchair bound paddlers who need support in the boat. That's the end of the team. What we want is competition for places in the first crew. And, uh, and we want the second crews. Uh, and we want to be sending them to the big event. The big event next year is the World Cup in Rio uh, in December 07. So we've got some time to get uh, a crew together that's fast enough and get some money together to go as well. have got compared to us. Um, we'd have to fundraise his own money. Certain countries have got uh, funding off their own government. So uh, we, we all worked hard as, as a team and a group to get the money to go to New Zealand. This is a disability crew, and they've proved that they can capsize and right and empty and get back in and paddle off uh, one of these boats. And uh, they've proved that they can paddle it on reasonably rough sea. So I think that for the future and for the Paralympics, it's going to be one cracking event, terrific.